you know, I'm going to ask you a general question here, but I, I'm curious to hear what you have to say about it because I've heard you say so much on the topic. But how has prayer, in light of just life, career, family, how has it transformed your life um, and your faith? Prayer is my immediate connection to God. That's how I talk to him and communicate with him. Of course, I read my Bible and I and I spend time with him, but but prayer is is my main form of communication. So, just like any relationship when you are spending time with that person and you're talking with them, that's where your relationship grows and develops and and you nurture that over time. So, I love God more and more when I get to know him through, through prayer. And I pray about all things, not just the big things and not just the times when, when times are hard or troublesome. I pray in the joy and the thanksgiving and the mundane of life, just the everyday things that don't even seem that important, except I know they are important to God. And it's just, it, it has prayers transformed my life because not only is that my immediate and deep connection with God, but it it reassures me that God is with me every second of the day. He's He's by my side when I when I need Him to be by my side. He carries me when I need Him to carry me when I can't take a step on my own, and He celebrates with me when it's time to celebrate. Like all the things I just I and and that is truly because of my prayer life. Mm, I love that. Well, and you said two things there that I think are so important and they speak to the same theme and that is praying when things are good, right? Cause like a lot of us, we pray when things are bad, when we're stressed out, my kids, you know, I, I found that I was kind of in a pattern with them and they're 10 and seven, you know, where we would pray and we'd be praying for other people, which was amazing and teaching them selflessness and appealing to God. But I thought I really need to make sure that we're also praying gratitude for the things that we have, the things that are good, you know, so that they kind of understand that that is so essential to prayer because in my own life, I've often forgotten to do that. And so it's something that I've been trying to do and then sort of pass on to them because again, I think we miss a big piece of the puzzle when it's only when we need something or other people need something, not when there's joy or happiness. Yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's become a part of my life to really celebrate the, again, the good things, but also what feel like mundane things. And I know this may sound like a a silly little example, but before I eat, I, I pray before my meals, but, and that's always a good reminder. That's why I got, that's why we do that. It's just a good time to stop and, and, and pray. And usually when we're eating, we've sat down so we can take a moment, but expressing my gratitude not only for my food, but for the people who made my food. Maybe that's my husband. Maybe that's the the, the chef at a restaurant. Um, I, I'm, I I find great gratitude for the farmer that raised the cow that for the meat that I might be eating or the chicken and you know the 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 hands that prepared it, the hands that served it. I try to find as many things as I can to say thank you god thank you for these steps like and and that's what i mean it's kind of in the mundane but when we recognize that god's god's given all of us these things through other people in our lives and i don't want to miss those because it just reminds me how great he is and it keeps my heart full of gratitude and it makes even you know, the big celebrations all the more in gratitude. Yeah. And especially, you know, we know that in the harder times, that's, that's always the go-to. But I really pray about a lot, a lot of things and, and, and pray the joy through the everyday, 